I think Europe's uh, integration has been seen very positively in Asia, uh, given that Europe has created something unprecedented in terms of political cooperation with an uh, unprecedented amount of economic output as the world's largest trading area, uh, also the ability to resolve conflicts internally, to create a zone of peace in Europe, uh, democracy, rule of law. Uh, so all of these have been big takeaways uh, for Asia in terms of how sovereignty has been managed to uh, bring a much um, important outcome uh, to a region which uh, in the past experienced un, uh, you know, a lot of war. So in the post-45 period, it's a, uh, it's a very positive outcome which has come to transpire in Europe. That is uh, something which has uh, had uh, definitely a, a negative impact. Uh, I think what Europe has witnessed uh, in the last decades is, uh, you know, first the financial crisis, then you had uh, the austerity measures imposed, uh, the fall in the growth rate and the refugee crisis have meant uh, Europe's ability to deal with its own internal problems have come into a sharper focus uh, and uh, it has brought attention that perhaps it may not be the best way uh, going ahead in trying to resolve these own crises. So the attractiveness of Europe, and somebody has also questioned, as to say that you know Europe is talking about the rule of law, democracy, and human rights for others. How has it been in implementing it for itself? So it has been definitely a, a fall in perception, but it doesn't mean that Europe is not important. I think Europe has uh, tremendous resources at its disposal uh, and considering that it is now at the point of celebrating 60 years of uh, the Treaty of Rome, I think it has to reposition itself as an important global player, as a regional player, uh, has to reconnect with its people internally to say why Project Europe and regional integration, peace, stability, uh, you know, is so important for everybody. It is not just about the states of Europe, but it is about the people of Europe. It has to redesign a new social contract and be a much more stronger and visible actor, uh, both regionally and globally, uh, endorsing multilateralism, rule of law and a liberal order.